What is not in the headlines today? Before we get to the paintings, what did you see in that audience that was different this year? Well, I think particularly for your <clears throat> viewership, we had a work sell last night, as you know, for 157 points. The Medigliani we'll talk about here in a moment. Million dollars. But what's fascinating about it is usually when you're selling works at unprecedented price levels, they are exactly that, unprecedented. But there was another Medigliani from this series that has already sold. So Medigliani is now the only artist to have crossed the $150 million mark twice. And for two works in the same series, that's really remarkable. That and this work has previously sold at auction. So you can chart exactly how much this work has appreciated <clears throat> since 2003 when it sold for $27 million. Uh, but Brooke, good morning from London. You know, we watched with great interest also uh, the auction of the Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi. Now that, last year, went under the hammer for $450 million. So if you put the two together, was Modigliani cheap? Um, the Salvatore Mundi is a, a different thing in the sense that um, da Vinci, of course, was working 400 years earlier. Um, his paintings are exceptionally rare to the world, period, only 16 of them. For Medigliani, there are actually 22 works in this series alone. And several of them do remain in private hands, while the majority are in public institutions. It is possible to acquire another one of these works. So in fact, um, I think the availability to market in a sense of this work and the right. potential to repeat the price is what's really remarkable. The distinctive feature here is the size. The Met did the redo of Washington crossing the Delaware. You go in the room and there's Washington and James Monroe holding the flag. Read the new Russell Shorto book on the American Revolution. It's great. To an art pro like you, the key thing here is it's 58 inches wide is a painting. It's is that what people are buying is the siziness, the horizontalness of this miracle it, of 1917? It is part of it. It's what it represents in the scope of his career. So not only is this series the zenith of his work, but if you go to the Tate Modern retrospective exhibition, which was just on and just closed about a month ago, <clears throat> the nudes were together in the last room as you know, the hallmark and the highlight and the summit of his career. Mm -hmm. And this work is the largest and the most resplendent among all of them. And you can really see it standing out there. It is, in fact, as far as we understand, the largest work that he ever painted.